said vocabulary. So in statistics, when we say we have a random sample, that's when everyone in the population has a chance to be in your sample. So everyone in the population could be in your sample. I'm still taking a sample though. I'm still collecting data from let's say 300 people. But every one of the millions of people in my population had a chance to be one of those 300. Does that make sense? So you're not, it's not a census. You're not collecting data from everybody. You're still collecting a sample. But everyone in the population has a chance to be in your sample. And oftentimes we'd like it to be an equal chance, though that doesn't always happen. But, um, but that's the idea. Try to give everyone in your population a chance to be in your sample. And that's what we refer to as random. Okay? So by the way, walking down the mall and bumping into somebody and asking them a question is not random. That's random the way you think, but that's not random in statistics. Because not every, all the millions of people in your population had a chance to bump into you at the mall. So who you bump into is not random in statistics. Random means you made sure that every one of, in your population had a chance to be included in your sample. Now that's very difficult actually. So let's kind of look at it. So the go-to random sample, the most common collecting data method for people that know statistics is called the simple random sample. Simple random sample, sometimes referred to as SRS. Um, this means you're selecting individual people or objects randomly. Okay? That means, again, everyone in the population had a chance to be chosen. Now, this usually means you have to somehow number your population in a lot of ways. You have to have access to your entire population, and usually you give each person or object in your population a number. So, um, this comes into play with, uh, we use a lot of random number generators nowadays with, in, in computer programs to do random number generators. Uh, in the old days before computers, you'd always see statisticians would have these huge books on their desks and, and it would just be a, de a book of random numbers. And they would, they would flip the book open, Oof, and whatever page it fell on, they would, they would just start writing those numbers that came up, that's who they would pick. But you have to sort of be able to give everyone in your population a number. And that, that becomes, that can be really difficult. Ran simple random samples are not easy, but it's the, the effort is worth it because this gives you a very, very uh, good um, way of collecting data that sort of minimizes bias. Simple random samples tend to not have very much bias in them. If they really are a true simple random sample from the population, in fact, I kind of think of this as the second best. If you can't do a census, simple random sample it would be your second best. Now, so let me give you an example. Suppose we have, again, the population of all the students at my college. Well, um, I could, everyone, every student at my college has a student ID number, right? So what I could do is I could just go ahead and, and have a computer randomly select student ID numbers, okay? Um, and uh, if a computer randomly selects student ID numbers, it will have every possible student ID number will be um, available. So again, it will be a random sample. Now, by the way, just one, one quick note. Don't think that you can pick randomly with your brain. I always get somebody that says, oh, I can pick randomly. I'll just, I'll just go like this on a page and start pointing at things, you know? That's not random. Random means everyone in your population has to have an equal chance of being chosen. So, or at least a chance. Well, in a simple random sample, usually they do have an equal chance. But, but the one thing about it is that you're, um, so in this case, um, we would want the computer to pick randomly or like a random number generator or something like that. Okay, uh, another one. Let's suppose we're looking at the whole U.S. population, or any population of a government, so uh, of a country, the population of a country. So you could, in, our, in the U.S., we all have social security numbers. So we could, you could have a computer or randomly select social security numbers, and then the government could sort of track down those people to get information from. That way, everybody has a, has a chance 
Um, again, using a, a computer generated random sample. Um, and again, having a computer randomly select numbers is sort of a very common technique for simple random samples. By the way, another way you could do it, actually in modern days, nowadays too, you can have, if you have access to a column that has maybe all the names of the people in your population, um, uh, this is very common with businesses, like you have a, a, a listing of every single employee in your, in your company, which might be thousands and thousands of people in your population. Um, and suppose you can't get data from all of them, you would just want to take a, a random sample. So what they'll do is you can actually have a computer randomly select cells from the column. So you can have a, a, a computer randomly select uh, uh, names from this column of data. So that's, that's another way you could do it. Um, with a computer, at least that now we know everybody has an equal chance of being chosen. Um, again, don't think that you can choose randomly. You can't. You have to use some kind of random number generator. Uh, you could also do this thing where you take all the names of the people in your company, put them in a big box or basket, and then reach in and pick, up, pick out a name, you know, make sure all the, all, the, all the pieces of paper are about the same size, and you reach in and grab pieces of paper, like lotto style. So uh, that, that would be a way of getting a random sample. Okay, but a simple random sample is very good. That, that, uh, that tends to minimize bias and uh, is our, really our best sampling technique in terms of collecting data. Okay? So we'll continue the discussion. Uh, I'm going to go over a few more ways of collecting data in our next video. This is Matt Show and Intro Stats.